Governor uh, David Terrard. Uh, David's a former banker, having worked for Barclays Bank, mostly in the UK for 38 years. Uh, he came to the United States in 2000, first to Ann Arbor, and then getting smart and finding Bluffton, South Carolina, where it's beautiful, warm, and sunny most of the time. He joined the Rotary Club of Hilton Head in 2003, served on the board before being elected as president of his club in 2011, 2012. Uh, the following year, he became an assistant governor for Area 4, served for three years, and then was elected district governor for 2018-2019. Uh, uh, David is a foundation, uh, the foundation is very important to David because he's a member of Paul Harris Society, a major donor and a benefactor. Uh, I'd like to introduce, ladies and gentlemen, Fast District Governor David Terrard. Thank you, Rob. Good afternoon, everybody. How nice to see you all. Um, I don't know about your breakout session. Ours was a little bit uh, fragmented, but uh, that's one of the problems that we're facing nowadays. And it's one of the things that I, I should talk about, really. Um, I'm here today to talk about membership growth advocates, which is a, a term that past uh, president, get my teeth together, governor elect Paul uh, asked me to, to look into. Um, we have many challenges currently, and I'm sure some of you are thinking about July the 1st with an element of trepidation because of the fact that we can't be as normal. And I love the fact that we're talking about uh, Rotary hasn't changed, but Rotary is just different now. And we've got to embrace that. As a past district governor, and I very rarely do this sort of thing because I am a past district governor, so I'm just an ordinary Rotarian now. Um, I can tell you that there are times when you're wanting to do things in your club, but don't know what your voice is to, to do that. Um, there will be people in your club that will say, we've tried this once and we can't try it again. And there will be some frustrations in what you do moving forward, dealing with volunteer people. That's one of our problems. So what's this business of membership growth advocates? Um, I've been asked to put together a team of people who are willing listeners more than anything else. Um, Whitney did a fa fabulous presentation of how you can look at your clubs and examine what you're doing with your, um, your rotary days. But um, sometimes you just need to have another pair of ears to say to you, how do I do this? Um, watching our um, Zoom call issues just now, um, are we all experts on Zoom? I hold my hand up immediately and say, no, I'm an ancient person and I'm not an expert on Zoom. I can get on Zoom, but I can't run Zoom. Can you all run Zoom? Are you all running Zoom? Do you want to run Zoom? Um, if you do and you have issues with it, Terry Moore is um, our communications guy at district level, and he has agreed to be your assistant in that if you have a problem. Uh, knowing who you can reach out to and say, I've got a problem, can you help, is important. And that's what we're here for. Um, as district um, people, um, the first thing I really need to say to you is, we're not here to tell you what to do. You've got, I'm looking across the screen at a number of assistant governors. They're your first port of call normally in all things about uh, things you don't know. Um, this pets that you're on at the moment is probably like drinking from a fire hose. You get so much information, it's hard to remember all of it. Um, at least that's how I found it when I was going through it. So it's important to be able to have someone say to you, um, or for you to be able to say, I wonder how I can do this, and I wonder who I can approach about that. And that's what I'm here for. Um, the term membership growth advocates is slightly misleading, though it does involve membership. Um, hands up anybody who in the, the, the room who's not lost a member of this year. Anybody not lost a member in their club? I have a number. You've got people who've lost their jobs. You've got people who can no longer afford to be a Rotarian. You've got um, companies that have stopped 
funding the subscriptions to Rotary and so on. And that's a struggle for certain club members. And we're going to have to try to find ways around that to move forward for the future. Looking backwards never did anybody any good at all. So looking forward and finding out what we can do, that's what we're here for. Sandy Olson's on the call here. Sandy is one of the most positive people I know. And Sandy is, thank goodness, said she'll be very happy to help us move forward with any membership issues we've got. Um, if you haven't dealt with Sandy before, um, please get to know her. She will be a great advocate for you and where you go from the future. So we're here to help. We're not here to tell you what to do. We're here to um, give you other ideas. Once, once you've talked it through, you'll be surprised. You probably come up with the right answer anyway. It's just knowing how to have that conversation. I know certainly in our club, we don't have too many of those conversations. It's all one way. And um, if you want to participate and you are going to be president, most of you next year, um, you'll want to be able to say, I want involvement for the rest of my team. That's your club. But please allow us to be part of your team if you need it. If you don't need it, that's fine too. Um, but just be sure that if you do need help in any way of, at all, if your assistant governor can't help you, and we're not trying to put the district go assistant governors out of business either. They're very important to us It's part of our organization. And we wanna make sure that we're just part of that team. We're an additional um, arrow in your quiver, so to speak. That's really all I have to say today, um, except to say good luck next year. Um, these are pretty scary times we're dealing with here in a lot of ways. But being Rotarians, we can overcome those. Uh, if you need help, please reach out. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, David. That was wonderful. Um, again, just remember, everybody, if you have questions, you can post them in the uh, chat section, and they can be addressed for you. So 